For decades, his medicines have helped uh, cure many ills. But now, Chirayu R. Amin, the CMD of 100-year-old pharmaceutical firm Alembic Limited, has been given the tough task of curing the IPL. Thank you so much, Mr. Amin, for talking to yes, us here yeah. on NDTV. To say that uh, you have a tough task ahead, given the way the IPL controversy has unfolded over the last two weeks, would clearly be an understatement. That is true. The job is quite tough was thrown upon me unexpectedly. I didn't realize that it, I'll be put into this hot seat. But here I am. I'll try to do my best. All right, indeed, everyone is hoping that a lot will come out of, uh, of uh, your position now as the new IPL boss. Uh, the fact that this came to you almost unexpectedly, the reasons why you decided to take up this job? Well, I was honestly, I was quite he hesitant to take up this job. But then the colleagues they emphasize that, well, we need board needs and someone who has been associated for a long time has to take up. And they assured me that they'll give me full support and hesitantly I accepted the job. <laughs> All right. We'll talk a little more about uh, how you intend to really reform cricket and IPL uh, in particular. But just talking about some of the recent developments, uh, the fact that within hours of uh, your being appointed as the, as, as the new IPL uh, boss, uh, uh, Mr. Lalit Modi yet again uh, sent a Twitter message saying, I am still the IPL commissioner. Your response to that? Well, I'll respond that a little later. First of all, your observation that reforming cricket, cricket does not need any reform. Cricket is a almost religion. I am not quoting for the first time. People have been talking about it. Cricket will go on. Right. IPL will go on. Right. The interests of the people at large who enjoy cricket will go on. The players' interests will be taken care of. They will enjoy playing the game. We'll have new youngsters joining the game. The owners of the team has to be assured that their investment in the game will be safe and they will also flourish. So the game is go show is going on. Nothing going to be deterrent to the show of a game of cricket and particularly the format of IPL. But cricket lovers have also been a little shocked at the turn of events over the last couple of days or weeks, shall we say. How would you assure them that uh, this was just a one-off thing and, and, and the show will go on, as you're saying? Well, I think the proof of the pudding is his eating. And... Uh, at this moment, only assurance we can give by demonstrating that it will go on in the right perspective. And that's all at this moment I can observe, you know. I can promise, I can promise that it will go on in the right manner, but let, let people watch. What really started, as many believe, as one Twitter message by Mr. Modi and started off as, as, as Modi versus Tharoor soon, in fact, became Modi versus uh, the BCCI. Your response to that, the fact that now it's suddenly being seen that, that the BCCI has singled out Mr. Modi, has suspended him, but that uh, the point that he raised of collective responsibility, that doesn't seem to be coming from the IPL Governing Council. Well, I think Governing Council, we all sitting on a council, are responsible for what is happening. The, but the way it was managed, the way Mr. Lalit Modi grew this tournament, I must give my credit to him. He worked hard and he made it successful. But subsequently, there were certain doubts about his operations, which were brewing underground. And I think it was like a threshold. The Tharoor episode brought it out as like a last straw on the back of a camel. I think it's nothing that it came out just instantaneously. I think there were a lot of undercurrents happening.